As you know, the way we teach multiplication has changed over the years in schools. These videos are designed to help you support your child at home so that you can use the same strategies and methods that we're teaching the children in school when you're doing your homework in the house. When looking at multiplication, the children will come across a variety of vocabulary for the uh, meaning of multiplication. For example, multiply, product, lots of or times. We try to avoid calling them times tables as it can get quite confusing when the children are looking at other skills in maths. If you come across a multiplication calculation with two digits where it's laid out horizontally, it can be very difficult for children to work this out mentally. So we try and encourage them to put it into a vertical calculation. For this example, we have 31 multiplied by three. We refer back to the children's previous knowledge of what they know from their addition and subtraction calculations. We then ensure the units are in the units columns and the tens are kept to the tens column. So we have here one, which is in our units column and our three for our tens column. So today we're multiplying this by three. So we put our three into our units column and we try to encourage the children to keep the multiplication sign out of the calculation. It's not to go in the units or the tens column, it's to be separate on its own. We always begin with looking at the units column first. So we, here we have three ones, which are three, and three threes, which are nine. Giving the children the answer of 93. Another example of multiplication with carrying would be 26 multiplied by four. The children will become more confident with aligning their numbers into the columns, ensuring they have the units in the units column, their tens in their tens, and their multiplication sign out with. Beginning on the right hand side, they have four sixes to give them 24, putting down their units and carrying their tens. Four twos are eight, adding on the two to give them 10. Again, at this point, we remind the children that each number must have their own column. So the children are allowed to extend their equals lines in this case. There is nothing else to do, so they can extend the numbers here to give them 104. The next step for children will be multiplying a three-digit number with carrying. The example here is 168 multiplied by 7. The children will know their 8 is their unit, so it goes in their units column. Their 6 is in their tens column, and their 1 this time is in their hundreds column, their 100 multiplying this by seven. Starting at the right hand side with the units, so seven eighths are 56, putting down their units and carrying their tens. Seven sixes are 42, but before writing their answer, remembering to carry on their five to give them 47. And then seven ones, which are seven, and carrying on their four to give them 11, reminding the child to put each number in its own column and extending their lines to give them 1,176. Another example children may come across is where zero is used as a placeholder. For this example, we have 704 multiplied by eight. So we're putting our four into the units column. There is nothing in the tens, so we're putting in a zero as a placeholder and a seven for our hundreds. We're multiplying this by eight. So keeping our multiplication sign out of their calculation. Beginning on the right hand side, we have eight fours are 32 putting down their units and carrying their three. Eight zeros this time give the child zero, but they must remember to carry on their three. So zero and three gives them three tens. And lastly, they have their hundreds column of eight sevens, which are 56. Encouraging the child again to ensure the numbers are in their own column and just extending their lines if they need to.